one to the count. Yankees, Rays, Brasso, Chapman, pitch everyone's talking about the 0-2 in the eighth inning preceding the home run. Hudson called it a ball. Was it the correct call? Yankees fans, depends on who you ask. Yankees fans think it wasn't. Rays fans think it was. What did the actual number say? Roboump, you wanted it, you got it. Nice try on the framing. Is it a strike or a ball? Depends on who you ask. Yankees fans will say one thing. Rays fans, you know the drill. The PX value is 0.85 on this pitch. What does that mean? Home plate is 17 inches wide. 17 divided by 2 is 8.5 inches. 8.5 inches converted to feet is 0.708 feet. We have to add the radius of a baseball to it, unlike Dylan, because the radius of the baseball dictates the strike zone. It's 0.813 feet to either end, so the boundary is 0.831. If a pitch has a PX value greater than 0.831, then the pitch is deemed a ball. If a pitch has a PX value that is less than 0.831, then it can be deemed a strike. Subject, of course, to the vertical domain as well. In this case, the PX value is 0.85, which means the pitch is a ball. It is a ball specifically by how much? Not that much. 0.23 horizontal inches. That's the razor-thin margin you're dealing with. And by the way, Baseball Prospectus got it right when years ago they said the truth about electronic strike zones... As soon as you take away from the umpires and give it to the robots, people are going to stop arguing with the umpires and they're going to start arguing with the way the robots work. Well, this is how the robots work. The robots said it was a ball. Go ahead and argue with them. That'll be fun. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com for more analysis throughout this postseason. We'll see you on the site. Ooh, just missed.